This is amazing work wardrobe one-on-one. -on -one. Stop struggling with your work style. By the end of this video, you will learn the missing detail that is preventing your work wardrobe from being amazing and how you can finally end the struggle. But in order to do that, we are going to have to go way back in time. We are going to have to get back to basics. So I want you to think back to your very first job, maybe advice you got from your mom. So maybe your first job was fast food, maybe it was scooping ice cream, maybe it was a camp counselor, or you know maybe it was a receptionist at one of your parents' offices, okay? So if you can remember that, think back and what is the advice she gave you? You may have gotten dressed for your first day of work and she gave you some very important advice. So again, getting back to basics. So the first one was, show up on time, right? A lot of us as adults still struggle with this one, but showing up on time, that's number one. It tells you to listen to your boss, right? Do what they tell you. She probably told you that in your first day. She also probably told you to look presentable. Okay, I remember that. So my very first job, well I would say very first job where you're not, you know, working in your family business or anything. My very first job was actually at McDonald's. Yes, I worked at Mickey D's. I was one of those people. And I worked at the cash register. Unfortunately, I don't know how to make their fries or you know flip the burgers like they do, but I was working the cash register and that was my very first job. So I remember some of this advice she gave me in starting my first job show up and look presentable. So, you know, with McDonald's, like I said, if you started in fast food, that was a little bit easier because you had a specific uniform and they told you to wear it a specific way, right? There were certain shoes I had to wear. I had to wear the like polo shirt and you had it to be tucked into the pants and you had to have the belt and all of that kind of stuff. So it was very particular, okay? You could not, you know, get creative with what to wear, but she probably told you to look presentable. Again, slick back your hair, look pulled together. And she probably also told you to learn from the best. So for me, it was like, look who's doing a good job. Look who's, you know, moving up in the company. Look who's always getting praised. Look who's becoming a trainer. Those are people that are really good at their job. Those are the people you go to, ask questions, look what they do, see how they address customers, all of that. So it's always learn from the best. And hopefully you take this advice and you've used it throughout your adulthood. And even when you, you know, landed um, in an office job or something, you looked around and said, okay, who's actually the best at this? Who should I be looking for to kind of be a mentor at distance to learn how to behave and act and how I should be doing my job, right? To learn from the best. So this is tried and true advice, like I said, that my mom gave me starting my very first job at McDonald's. And I think she would still continue to, to give me that advice today. And it will probably pass on from generation to generation. This is back to basics advice any of us can take in making, um, in with our jobs and our careers. In this particular video, of course, because you know I deal with fashion and style, that we will be spending a lot of time here on number three, the look presentable. There's a lot of information in the learn from the best. There's actually three takeaways I could give you for that, but that's not really gonna be the focus of this particular video. At the end though, I will show you where you can go if you want additional help in that area. But like I said, primarily it's gonna be number three that we're focusing on. So let's go. Let's take mom's advice. Look presentable at work. So if you've been following me on YouTube channel, social media, you're on my newsletter, what have you, you've probably found me by Googling or going, I need help with my style. Or as one subscriber said, she literally typed into the, <laughs> into the Google um, search bar, just like, how can I no longer be a plain Jane? Or how um, can I stop being a plain Jane? And then my site popped up, right? So you were like, I need help. Some people, it happens at different points than others. Some people are like, they broke up, they ended a relationship, they went through a divorce, they got laid off, whatever, and different things may precipitate while you decide to have a makeover or get style help. But what have you, you landed here and you just had a work wardrobe, maybe looks similar to the one on the screen. Not a lot of creativity put into it. Um, it's clothes, you're clothes, but you're probably, mm, not really satisfied with your style and that's why you sought me out or sought out other resources online to help you in that particular area. So you were like, uh, I think I need some help, right? And so you started watching some of the videos, started paying attention to some of the content that I put out there and you're like, okay, I think I know what she's doing, why her outfits look different than my outfits. And you're like, it must be accessories. Okay, and I know this because I get emails from all of you guys and comments on social media that this is usually the next step. They're like, I think it's just, I'm not accessorizing right. And so you add accessories to it. 
And yes, true, that is a step up. So you're you're learning in layers. We layer on different things, right? You're like, okay, the accessories is like, eh, it's better, but it's not quite what I was looking for. So maybe that's not quite it. I'm still not, you know, my work wardrobe isn't amazing. I'm still struggling a little bit, but I'm not where I used to be, okay? And usually the next step that they take after that, the accessories one, is then they start swapping in clothing that maybe is a little bit more flattering for their body type. Okay, maybe a little bit more goes along with their personality, but usually it's just they start looking at things differently and go, oh, actually, this kind of looks better on me. Actually, this kind of works better for my body or for my, my coloring or that sort of thing. So you start making these changes and you can see vast improvement already from where we started, that very first base layer, but you're still like, oh, it's still not amazing. My outfits don't quite look like the one she has there. So what am I missing? I have the accessories, I'm, I'm wearing stuff that's better for my body, but I'm not quite there. I'm still not what I would call like amazing work wardrobe. Okay, you're not struggling as much, but it's still not quite where you want it. So again, if we get back to the advice from mom, the look presentable, and I'm gonna make one change to mom's advice, right? I'm gonna say instead of look presentable, I'm gonna say look amazing. If you're bothering to get dressed in the morning, why not actually take it up a notch and, and aim for amazing? And so this is important for everyone, but especially if you are somebody that is a sales professional, if you are somebody that is a consultant, if you are somebody that's a real estate professional, or you're someone that is self-employed, it is even more important because you are walking advertisement for your business and your services, okay? So it's even more important to look amazing. And you'll be surprised. I have story after story, if you've ever, um, you know, taken my webinar, story after story of people just like, oh, I made changes to my wardrobe, and then I actually, I got introduced to this person, or this person came and spoke to me, and oh, and then I got a new client. Oh, and then I was like more comfortable and then I finally reached out to this other person and was able to get a referral or I was able to do, it's amazing what happens when you up your wardrobe, up level your wardrobe, okay? And so you aim for amazing. So I'm gonna say, looking presentable is great, but why not look amazing, right? You have to get up and get dressed in the morning anyways, so instead of reaching for this top, reach for the other one that's amazing. That's all you need to do. Still takes you the same time to get ready in the morning, okay? So that's really what it's about. And so you're like, okay, I'm understanding. Yes, I agree. I, I want to look amazing, Aisha. That's why I'm watching this video, right? And so you did this here. So here's the steps you went through. So you went, okay, I have my current wardrobe. Uh, I'm trying adding in the accessories. Okay, not quite there. You see the amazing bar right up at the top. And so just adding the accessories, you didn't quite get there. Then you're like, okay, let me add in the figure flattering pieces. And maybe then I'll get amazing. And you're still a little short. You're close, you're way better than you used to be before, but not quite there. But part of it is because of the process you went through. So you went from the ground up that way, like I said. And actually, if you've watched any of my videos and you understand a little bit of what I call like the block wardrobe philosophy, it's a little bit different than um, traditionally how people build a capsule wardrobe. It's a little bit different. And the reason why is because you start here. You start at amazing. <laughs> That's the first step. You make sure that hurdle is clear, okay? And then from there, you have the figure flattering pieces. You add in the accessories, and then you start mixing and matching with your current wardrobe. So you see the process is completely reversed. So instead of doing these incremental steps and layering on, I'm going, let's start at amazing, and then let's break that down. So there's a different way. So I've done this on other videos, but I wanna go through it quick here, just in case none of you um, are familiar with it. And you may be going, okay, what was that question mark there, Aisha? What was that thing that makes it amazing? And I'm gonna tease it out a little bit, but we're gonna dive into it in a little bit in this video. But here's the little tease, the hint. I love this quote, and this is really what makes it amazing. So it's, love is in the details. Okay, it's one of my favorite quotes from Oprah Winfrey, and that is really what's gonna make it amazing. Again, I'm gonna tease that out, Later in the video, you'll know exactly what this means and why I put this into this particular training. So again, we start at the amazing bar. We clear that bar first, right? The block wardrobe for philosophy. You're gonna make an amazing outfit first and then break it down to the basic building blocks instead of adding the building blocks and hoping it adds up to amazing, right? So it completely reverses the process. So here you are, you may start out here. I would come and go, okay, here's outfit number one. And we would start that and we break that down into the building blocks to help 
build your wardrobe. Or maybe you would get an outfit like this in outfit number two. And I go, okay, this is going to be starting. We're going to break it down and use this to build your wardrobe. Okay, but you're seeing I'm starting at amazing. These individual outfits are amazing for different reasons. And again, we're going to dive into it in a little bit. Or maybe it's an outfit like this. Start at number outfit number three again we started at the amazing level we've cleared that amazing bar first and then we're gonna break it down to make the building blocks so like I said you've seen me do this there's um, a video on my YouTube channel called what went wrong with the capsule wardrobe that explains this a little bit I also did um, a video for expectant mothers love your bump and it went through how to create that capsule again by working backwards creating amazing breaking it down to building blocks and then it was um, 30 days worth of outfit then from there so you can take a look at that even if you're not an expected mother but it'll help um, help you understand this particular concept and so you again you start here with the amazing outfit and then like I said you're gonna break it down into blocks so if I took all of those individual outfits down here's all the pieces that made it up and I called these blocks and then of course I have to spell it with a Q because it's just cuter that way instead of spelling it the traditional way of blocks. But you break it down into those blocks and these become the building blocks for your wardrobe. But again, you see we're working backwards, which is really different than how people traditionally make a capsule wardrobe. And the, why, the reason I do this is because it's designed for compliments. So that is really important. I don't want you to just go, oh, I'm dressing a little bit better. I want you to be dressing so much better, dressing so amazingly well, that you're getting compliments from people. Even more so that a lot of my products and programs, I even give a compliments guarantee because that is really what it's designed to do. And that's really the thing that sets it apart from a traditional capsule wardrobe. So again, a traditional capsule, all great pieces, all great basics, okay? But the problem with it, if you have all these basics that make it easy to mix and match, you end up looking basic, right? You haven't cleared that bar of making it amazing. And so traditional capsule, again, it may be a vast improvement from where you were before, and hooray for you if that's what you wanna do. But again, if you wanna to get to that amazing level, you're gonna to have to do um, a little bit more and kind of reverse engineer that process. So again, the traditional capsule, Mm, you may get a few compliments, but it's really not designed for compliments. It doesn't have that little wow, that punch, that pop to it, that like what I call this like turn heads factor or that wow factor to it. Okay, so again, to go over again, you just, we start out with the outfits. We break it down into the blocks. And then remember what I said when I showed you that chart? The next thing is we're gonna mix and match it with existing pieces in our wardrobe, okay? So these are basic blocks. And again, maybe I wouldn't give you all these three outfits to mix and match with, but I wanted to give you an idea of creating the outfit and then creating blocks from it. So again, once you have those, one, you have an amazing outfit. But just by making that one amazing outfit, you now have these blocks that you mix and match with your existing wardrobe. So it just up leveled your entire wardrobe and you can make more amazing outfits with it. Um, so you see here on the screen, I have that blue and white embroidered top. That was part of one outfit. And now we're gonna show how you would actually mix and match that with the existing pieces in your wardrobe. So for example, that top, you would just pair it with, if you had a pair of white pants in your wardrobe, you can see it makes a gorgeous outfit. You can move it over here, pair it with a gorgeous pencil skirt. Still amazing, gorgeous outfit. You can take it and pair it with black jeans, a pair of really dark denim jeans. Again, it looks amazing. It's paired with the boots. Or you can sit and mix and match it and make it a little bit more casual and you have it with a denim pencil skirt. But just by creating that one outfit, you got the basic block of that gorgeous top that you can mix and match with existing pieces in your wardrobe. And for most of you on the call, you have some of these pieces. You probably have a pair of jeans. You might have a, a denim skirt. You might have a pencil skirt. You might have a pair of white trousers. You might have a pair of just black trousers, okay? So you're not starting completely from scratch. You also have pieces existing in your wardrobe. You just need these other ingredients in there to mix and match it with okay and that is what is enables you to really multiply your wardrobe get more mileage out of it and really up level everything so everything that you paired with now makes it amazing okay and you're like okay that seems simple Aisha but there's one huge question you have not yet answered I understand, you're like, I understand this Aisha, I understand this block wardrobe process, I understand reverse engineering it, but there is one 
crucial piece of information that you were leaving out here, okay? And you're like, the piece of information you're leaving out here is why I'm still struggling with my work wardrobe, okay? The question you're probably thinking right now is, how do I do this, Aisha? How do I make that first initial outfit, right? How do I make that first initial gorgeous outfit so that I then can't go take that and mix to match it with all these pieces. And I'm gonna say to you, you may have missed some of the details. Were you really paying attention to what I just did there in the video? I think you may have missed something important there, okay? So you remember at the beginning of the video, I said love was in the details, right? That Oprah quote. And that Oprah quote is there because really love is in the details. And so she gave that quote when she did the Legends Ball, I think it was several years ago now, and they did, you know, a TV special around it, but she honored these 100 women, legendary women that really paved the way um, for women in color, women of color in the entertainment field. So she had um, film actresses, um, she had um, singers, she had entertainers of all stripes, sizes, everything, and really honored them and spent a whole weekend doing it. And so she had this wonderful party planner that helped plan every little detail. What is the napkin going to look like? What is the invitation going to look like in there? Okay. And so she was like, those little details show people that you love and uh, that you love them and you really care about this and you want them to feel special. So it's that same thing. That love, that attention to detail is what you need to bring to your outfits. And that is how you create that first amazing, gorgeous outfit that you can then break down and create blocks from. So like I said, when you miss the details, you are probably like, oh, I just picked out, you know, a really cute top to mix and match with. And I'm going to dive in and show you the love that went into creating this outfit and the details that went into creating it. And you probably understand why people actually hire stylists and what they look for. So here's this gorgeous top. I think almost everybody watching will go, oh, that is really pretty and did look really pretty with everything she mixed and matched it with. But again, did you miss some of the detail? So here we go. I chose this top because one, it has a V neckline. So it's a that neckline is flattering for almost every single body type, okay? It just opens you up. It's slimming for almost everybody. It's a flattering neckline. So that's why that was chosen. Number two, this gorgeous embroidery detail. Remember, love is in the detail. So this detail of this embroidery on here, it does go with what's trendy at the moment, okay? But it's still something that you can see two years from now, it's still gonna look really good. But it's embroidery detail. So imagine if this shirt didn't have any of that embroidery detail and it was just a simple white shirt. It would still be, it would still be pretty, okay? But what takes it to amazing is that detail. Okay, it also has this kind of blue song sleeve, okay, where it kind of billows out a little bit, okay, and you can see because of that, it's going to be flattering on almost any arm shape. I know a lot of women out there, they're like, I don't like to show my arms, okay, or I don't want something fitted where people can see my arms, you know, through, through the garment, and so this is a very flattering one. It also has great movement, so when you're walking, when you're moving around the office, when you're wearing this, it looks great moving as well. Again, tassel just another great detail and it's blue tassels and again it has great movement to it and movement is important because again if we're creating an amazing work wardrobe is those little details that movement that actually is something that gets people's heads to turn a lot of people don't know that and so a lot of times you'll see if you've ever seen designers prepping their shows um for a runway show and you see they go, I wanna have the models walk and move around in the garments and the clothing because they wanna see how it's gonna look moving. That's just as important as how it looks, you know, when you're sitting down at your desk <laughs> at your office. But the tassel is again, it has this great movement. These are things that are gonna catch people's eye. These are the things that turn heads, okay? So all of those are really great details and because it had these great details to it, again, it's, it's flattering your body because of that great neck detail. These little touches everywhere add great detail. And so when you're mixing and matching it with existing pieces in your wardrobe, it did an instant makeover. It just made over your denim skirt. It just completely made over those white pants you have in your closet because you paired it with this top. Okay. And so that's the thing of really, that's how you start struggling with your work wardrobe. You got to get some of these like, wow, standout pieces, some of this detail stuff into your wardrobe. That's the love that goes into your wardrobe. That's the love that goes into your particular outfit. 
okay? So I said, you may have missed some details. So again, you're probably like, oh, I really like the outfit number one that Aisha chose. You know, that was a really beautiful dress. And again, you might have missed some details, so let's dive in. Again, you can probably tell already, it has that V neckline that we talked about. Gorgeous neckline, it's flattering on almost everybody. It has this great tie detail. Again, a little touch of femininity, a little unexpected thing. It would still be a pretty dress if it didn't have this detail in it, but that detail is what makes it special. The detail is what makes it amazing. It's all these little things that add up. It's also a wrap style dress, which is flattering for a lot of people. Again, a lot of body types look great in the wrap style dress. Also because of the wrap, it has this great movement to it as well. The biggest thing is the color. So you can have this dress, it could have been in just black, it could have been in just white, it would have been a very pretty dress. But because you chose this mint green for it, okay, that's what's going to make it stand out, that's what takes it to another, another level, it makes it amazing. Okay. It also has this ruffle hem, again a touch of femininity, adds some great movement again while you're walking down the sidewalk, while you're walking across the, out, um, the office, or if you were to wear this on a date, you know, it has this great movement, it's going to make your dad, date's head turn like, oh, there she goes, <laughs> right? When you have that there. So it has that. And then another touch to make it look a little bit more modern, um, it has an asymmetrical hem to it. Again, it would have been a pretty dress if it didn't have this, but again, that little detail matters. Those details matter. Those details are what adds up to amazing. So if you've been adding some of the pieces to your wardrobe, you know, to to improve it, to make it easier to mix and match, again, if you're like, why am I not clearing that amazing bar? It's all of these little details. Because you see, when you add this dress to almost anything, again, it makes that instant makeover. Okay, I could have a pair of basic black high heels that I wear too, and the outfit's amazing simply because I'm wearing this dress with it. I could have a pair of sandals and I add this dress to it and my outfit is amazing because I've added this dress to it. So it creates, again, that instant makeover. And again, this is something that you're looking at and you're probably like, okay, now I understand why people hire stylists to actually choose the pieces because there's also these little details that I don't look at when I'm shopping that she would look at when she's shopping. Okay, and again, because you're trying to create a great impression, a great overall look. So these, all these little details add up. But again, this is something you can start to do. And that's why I'm actually pointing out the different features of these garments. So when you're shopping, you'd go, oh, that's a V neckline. I remember Aisha said something about that. Oh, look at that detail there. That's perfect. That's what Aisha meant when I watched this video. Okay. So just right now, you've probably already had what is called an aha moment. Okay. And it's an aha moment because you're like, Okay, I want to go back and look at some of the other outfits Aisha put together. I want to go back and look at that one video she put together because maybe that's why that outfit looked really good. It's all these little details that I didn't even think about. And you may open your closet and go, oh yeah, I don't have those details, right? And you're like, that's missing. That's what's missing. That's why it's not amazing is that I was missing the details, okay? So I'm going to do a few more deep dive into some garments because again it'll help you when you're shopping and when you're making that first initial outfit okay to reverse engineer and make the building blocks of your wardrobe because it makes it not a struggle anymore when you have the right building blocks so there was also this gorgeous skirt to die for i love it but again let's go through the details of it and the details you could probably start figuring out what some of the details are on here i've done a few so you can probably do them along with me so one is this here, it has this little bow, again, a touch of femininity here, something that's different, that stand out. It has the buttons down the front of the skirt, which I love because you can button it all the way down for a, a work look. You can unbutton a few of the buttons to show a little bit more leg, right, if you're going out in the evening or going out on a date. But again, it's just a little detail that other people wouldn't think of. The biggest thing, just like that beautiful mint color, the beautiful thing about this is it's this gingham print, okay? Just look around your office, wherever you are right now, just look around and look what people are wearing. How many people have on like a gingham print, okay? That's really what makes it um, stand out. That is the biggest feature of this that makes it amazing. And also it is a midi skirt length. So midi skirt length is gonna be between the knee and the ankle. It's a better, very flattering um, 
dress and skirt length for a lot of people. I know for many of us as we get older, you're like, I'm not as comfortable wearing the sh super short skirts, you know? And so it's a very chic um, skirt length. It's also an unusual one. So it's again, if you are listening to this at work, maybe you're listening to YouTube at work, <laughs> um, look around you, see how many people are wearing that style of skirt. Okay, or think of how many you've seen in the last week. It's that little detail that makes it interesting and that's why you go, yeah, she, she looks a little put together, but I wouldn't say she, she's like super stylish, okay? And it's because it's these little details that people don't traditionally think of. And again, whatever you pair this with is gonna make an instant makeover because of those details. And I'll show you in a little bit how to mix and match this one. So again, once you have this building block in your wardrobe, it makes the rest of getting dressed for work easy. It's no longer a struggle. And I wanted to do the shoe for you guys too, so you know this even applies to shoes. So one is, look at the sleek line of that shoe. It's not a traditional line that you would see in a high heel. So the way I like to think of it, to know if it's what I would say sleek lines, if you think of like, how do you know when you see something that looks like a sports car, right? It has different angles than traditional cars. It's like just sleek and sexy, right? So you can see here, it has this unusual little slope to it, okay? And it's also very flattering and sexy on the foot. And again, it's not anything that's uncomfortable, it's just something that's unusual and has this very sleek line to it. Again, think of like a sports car, right? That has these very beautiful lines to it. And then um, last but not least, you can see, um, it may be a little hard to see, if you're watching this in full screen, for sure you'd be able to see the detail, but the shoe has a little texture to it, so it's not just a flat black shoe, like a matte color shoe. Um, in just a flat color. It has this little texture to it. You can see it has the little bumps on there that make it a little bit unusual. And again, it's one of those things like whatever you pair it with, it's gonna create an instant makeover. Okay. So by making that one amazing outfit, you break it down to make amazing building blocks for your wardrobe. And then it makes it really easy to mix and match and make more amazing outfits. So let's look here. I'm gonna do mix and match like I did before with the top. So this one, we have the black and white kingdom skirt. You see it's gorgeous there. You could just wear it with a regular white button down blouse. Almost everybody has this. I call it the job interview <laughs> blouse. It seems like everybody who goes on a job interview always wears this and I don't know why. Um, but almost all of us have this in, their, in our wardrobe. So you just took that skirt, paired it with a basic and outfit's amazing it's an instant makeover simply because you added the skirt to it again you have like a um so like i said we're going to mix and match so mix with existing pieces most of us have that white blouse in our wardrobe okay so let's see what else could you pair it to if you have like a basic kind of like tee in your wardrobe so let's say you had a red one you pair it with a skirt it's amazing. Most of us have a tee like this in, in our wardrobe or a top like this. It's just a simple basic top. Yours may, may be white, it may be black, it could be red, it could be green, it could be blue. Okay, most of us have some variation of this in our wardrobe. That's why I'm saying mix with existing pieces. Most of us have that. You pair the skirt with it and all of a sudden your outfit is amazing. And it's just a regular top that you paired it with. Next, okay, you want an outfit for fall or winter because you're like, okay, um, I don't live in California. I don't have nice weather year round, okay? Um, so if that's the case, then in winter you paired with a basic black turtleneck. I think most of us, or most of you guys that live in colder weather areas, you probably have a turtleneck. It might not be a black one, but you probably have one. You pair it with this skirt. You put a pair of boots on with it. Super, super duper chic, simply because you've added this skirt to it. And lastly, this is more of a summer one. Again, you just pair it with a tank top. All of us probably have a tank top in our wardrobe or a little camisole in our wardrobe. Um, or even people call them wife beaters. You can even pair with one of those type of tops and or undershirt, okay? If you wanna be more politically correct, but I know most people call them the wife beater tank tops. Um, so if you wear it with this skirt, again, the outfit becomes fabulous. So you wear it with the skirt, you wear it with the boots. Um, and you see throughout this video, I've just essentially kept the same two handbags. So I had a black one and then a yellow one um, is the building blocks and paired it with that. But again, you're taking this amazing skirt, pairing it with just regular pieces that you have in your wardrobe, and all of a sudden you have all these amazing outfits because of the way that you mixed and matched it. So hopefully that time, did you catch the details? And did you see how the details 
really mattered and how it completely made over the pieces already in your wardrobe, okay? That makes it not a struggle, okay? That's where your wardrobe is no longer a struggle. You're no longer stagnant in your style because you have these amazing building blocks that's gonna help you make amazing work outfits. So again, let's just go over what we did. So um, to the left, I showed you that's traditionally how most of you have approached uplifting your wardrobe or changing your wardrobe. So you've gone from your current wardrobe, you maybe added some accessories and then maybe add in some figure flattering pieces. And from there, you try to create an, um, a wardrobe and try to make amazing work outfits, but it didn't quite cross that amazing bar. It didn't quite reach that level of what you were hoping to do. It didn't quite reach where you were hoping to get all those compliments. And remember I showed you, well, actually you got to reverse the process, make the amazing work outfit first, break it down to its building blocks. And from those building blocks, um, you know, you have the figure flattering pieces because we've paid attention to details in picking those out. We've paid attention to details when choosing the accessories and shoes. Remember I showed you that to create that one outfit. And then um, you mix and match with your current wardrobe. And when you do that mix and match all of your outfits, then an instant makeover and everything looks amazing. So we reverse the process. And remember the big thing was the details. So please remember that Oprah quote, love is in the details, okay? So all those little details are what adds up to make it amazing. And when you start at that point, you've already cleared that amazing bar. You've already done that. And so even if you don't know how to mix and match, although you can see how easy it is to do, even if you don't know how to mix and match, you at least have that one amazing outfit in your wardrobe. That one thing that makes you feel confident. That one, I call it almost your like power outfit. That's your mm outfit. When you have a day and you need to make a mm impression, you have that one outfit. But in reality, once you have those blocks in your wardrobe, it opens up so much more to mix and match. So mom's advice was, was pretty correct, right? That, that looking presentable. And if we get back to the basics, showing up on time, listening to our boss, looking presentable. Oh yeah, we made the correction. I said, look amazing, right? It makes it more exciting to go to work. All of a sudden you're excited about your career again, right? You're meeting new people, you have renewed confidence, you have renewed energy, you're feeling great about yourself. Can you imagine how that would like shift your career into a whole new gear simply by doing that? And then, like I said, the other thing would be to learn for the best. And unfortunately, you know, I can't make this video super duper long and get into that. But that's a whole other area. But that also informs those details that I choose in making a great outfit or making an amazing outfit, I should say, is I have learned from the best. I did research for hmm, six to nine months looking at the top earning female real estate professionals in the country what they were wearing, what they were doing, what their marketing looked like and all of that. And one of the things that came from that is, yeah, they, they pay attention to details. Yeah, they do different things with accessories than the rest of us do. Oh yeah, even the colors that they choose are different than what the rest of us choose. So there are very important things you can learn from learning from the best. And that has informed how I create um, wardrobes, outfits, products, programs for people because I spent the time to actually do that research and dive in and learn from those women and see what exactly they were doing, okay? And so, learn from the best. We didn't get to dive into it, but I told you I would show you where if you wanted additional help, you would be able to go for that. So, you can visit amazinginstantmakeover.com. It's a three-part teleseminar series. It happens every single month. It's going to be the first, second, and third Tuesday of every month. All you need is a phone. You call in and you listen, and it will help you and give you advice to get rid of your career stagnation once and for all. Again, remember how invigorated you feel if you had an amazing outfit that you get to go to work in. If you have an amazing outfit that you're wearing to a listening appointment or to meet with a prospect, right? How much more confident would you feel asking for a referral for that? And again, a lot of this was formed in doing the research um, for the book that I wrote, which was The Millionaire Real Estate Agent Makeover. And again, in their research, the top um, real estate women across the country. These are women that make, um, shall we say, uh, multiple millions a year in commissions. 
you think they know what they're doing? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Am I looking at them to see what maybe other people could be doing? What I could be doing different? Uh, yeah, they probably know what they're doing. So again, the research that helped go into that book um, broke it down and made it into a three-part teleseminar series. Again, you don't have to listen to all three. You can listen to one. You can listen to the part that you think is more relevant for you. So I can go into what you'll learn, but you can go to amazinginstantmakeover.com to learn more. So on call number one, here's where you're going to learn. Well, the entire series is called Amazing Instant Makeovers for Your Whole Business, Clients, Prospects, Referrals, and You. And so call number one is really about clients and you. And so again, it is bringing in the wardrobe advice, but it's also bringing in a little bit of the business stuff that I've learned as well, because so much of the wardrobe is branding. And so like I said, if you are somebody that is a real estate professional, you are a consultant, you are a sales professional, or you are self-employed, you are your business, you are your business card. Okay. So it's important that you look your best. So in the first call, like I said, it's clients and you. We'll go over one fantastic way to bring more magic into your business and a must do for anyone who's felt like giving up and then great news for your business the top makeover tips to close out the year this could also be helpful for those of you that may be um, teetering with going oh should i start my own business should i start doing this thing on the side this may be a great series um, to listen to to get advice and maybe you know it'll tip you one side or the other and you decide actually i do want to start doing this on my own Okay, maybe I do want to start that business. Maybe I do want to start selling this. Um, this is great advice for you as well. And so, call number two. Again, amazing instant makeovers for your whole business, clients, prospects, referrals, and you. Call number two is clients and you. And so in this one, we're going to go over the instant business makeover quiz. Find out what is really sabotaging your progress and how to stop it. What would you do if you had no fear? and fresh ways to de-stress about finding new prospects. You would be surprised by what you wear, what you accessorize with, can actually be conversation starters. I think that's the biggest thing sometimes people are surprised about when I go, okay, watch what happens when people start coming up to you and complimenting you or asking where you got this. And I'm, I know in my book, I give tips of like, oh, if somebody comes up to compliment you, like here's how you can start a business conversation with them and that sort of thing. Um, and so it'll be some of that in this call. And then last but not least, the third call. So again, amazing instant makeovers for your whole business, clients, prospects, referrals, and you. Call number three is referrals and you. So we're going to focus on referrals in that one. And so that one, I want you to have stuff you could implement right away. So there are grab and grow strategies to increase referrals in a hurry. Why the lesson you learned in kindergarten makes everything better. Great advice from someone who's been there often and done that twice. And for this particular call, call number three, there's going to be some stuff in there related to social media. So remember I was saying learn from the best. So those women that I researched for about nine months and I was able to see a lot of the things that they were doing. And so this call number three really has a lot of social media stuff in it, which is great, which I think everybody would love to hear and learn more about. And actually how what you wear and how you brand yourself on social media and how that could be impacting your business there's great strategies and like i said i really wanted to make sure i had stuff you can implement like right after the call and so call number three is that call for you so these tele seminars are training calls that will help you get rid of your career stagnation and your work wardrobe sta stagnation once and for all so amazing instant makeovers for your whole business clients, prospects, referrals, and you. The calls are absolutely free. All you need is a telephone. You go to the website, put in your name, your email address, and you'll be sent the call-in information for all three calls. Like I said, you don't have to go to all three. You can listen to just one or just two, or you know, maybe divide it up over the different months, which you listen to. And again, if you're a sales professional, if you're a consultant, if you're a real estate professional, or you're self-employed, you know that you are your business. And this teleseminar series can help you and your business achieve amazing in an instant. So please, to learn more, visit www.amazinginstantmakeover.com. It happens the first, second, and third Tuesday of the month. Remember, love is in the details. So it's not just in your wardrobe, but love is in the details of your business as well. And I believe that this three-part teleseminar series will help you bring more of that love and more of that detail to your wardrobe 
and your business. And again, to help you have that makeover in one amazing instant. Thank you for watching this video.